Hey guys, <laughs> it's Tammy. How are you? Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys. Um, so today is Sunday and normally tonight we are watching Game of Thrones. Um, however, we gotta wait a couple months for it to come back. Uh, so anyway, so I wanted to do a quick little success tip from Game of Thrones that I saw uh, in one of the episodes in the last few weeks or so. So for those of you who don't watch the show, there's a character called Littlefinger. And he's talking to another character in the uh, show called, uh, her name is Sansa. And he's telling her about his vision. And so he's describing this vision of basically being king of the world. Uh, and then she being by his side. And one, this is one of the most powerful success tips that I, I think I've ever heard. And I was so happy that they actually put it in the show. And he said, basically he described his vision. He said, that's the vision. And every decision I make, every step that I take, I ask myself, does this get me closer to that vision or not? And so that's the success tip that we can take from Game of Thrones. Because if we look at it in our own lives, when it comes to our own success, you got to start with a vision. You got to have a vision of what you want your life to be like, whether it be for your career, you got to have a vision of exactly what would make you happy, like the type of work that you want to do that would fulfill you and would also serve the world. And then you got to have also with that vision, you got to understand how you want to do it, how you want to make an impact, because there are so many people who are in your industry. There's so many people who want to do exactly what it is that you want to do, but what's going to be different about the way you do it? Why will people choose you over everybody else out there? There has to be a reason. You have to have a unique selling proposition that distinguishes you from the crowd. And that's if you're going to be an entrepreneur or if you want to continue being in corporate America. You've got to be able to establish like a brand for yourself. And so ask yourself, what's my vision? And then how do I want that vision to come about? Like what type of person do I want to be? Think about that same thing with your relationships. Like what kind, what's your vision for your relationships? Um, uh, if you want to be married, if you want to have children, um, I always see people posting uh, memes and uh, and then they'll put relationship goals underneath it, you know? So you know what, if that's the vision that you have, post that vision up and then ask yourself, who do I need to be to create that type of relationship? Same thing with your career. Who do I need to be to create that vision? And every day, every decision that you have to make, every time you have to make a decision to invest in yourself, every time you have to make a decision to sacrifice, every time you have to make a decision to change directions and you don't know which way to go, you keep your eye on the vision and you ask yourself, will this get me closer to my vision? or further away from my vision. And if it's gonna be closer to your vision, you do whatever it takes to make it happen, whatever that action step is. That's the key, that's the key. Don't put yourself out of the game before you win the game. Keep yourself in the game. And the way you keep yourself in the game is to continuously take action steps, even if they're baby steps. Even if they're baby steps. So what's the baby step that you can do, take today? Um, keep that vision top of mind remember how you're going to do it and then always be working towards that vision and do it consistently it's not enough to, to be a starter everybody can start something but the people who truly win in life are the people who finish the people who stick to it even when everybody says that they're crazy even when nobody shows up for them even when they feel like giving up even when they don't feel confident one of my coaches said something um, the other day that was super profound and I absolutely love it he said far too many of you are waiting for confidence to kick in in order for you to be courageous but it never works that way the only way to build your confidence is to be courageous Every time you're courageous, every time you step out of your comfort zone, every time you do what absolutely terrifies you, you get a little bit more confident. And when you become more confident, your competence goes up. So you become great at what it is that you do. Every step of the way, baby step after baby step after baby step, you focus on what's the next step that's going to take me to that vision. I hope that helps. I just want to do a quick video. And now I'm about to go, I think I'm going to go watch some reggae. 
live music on Sunday night since Game of Thrones isn't here anymore. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great night. Oh, and if you like the video, like it, leave a comment for me. I'll respond back to you. Share it with your friends. If you know anybody who could use that tip, go ahead and share it on their page. I'd love to see that. Um, peace and blessings. Love. Have a happy Saturday. Have an amazing week. Take steps towards your vision. Take steps towards your goals. I'm Tammy Washington, and I'm out. <laughs>